especially to see um, Mr. Phelps, Uncle Louie, um, our dear, dear um, director. He was so encouraging and so positive. He had a sense of humor. And back then, we really didn't know um, that much about music. A lot of us didn't have that much background. We were young. And, uh, and he brought us music to explore and participate in that we had never maybe participated in before. And it was, um, maybe some would say, over our heads or something that you know was really not done in high school. And because we didn't know any better, we just embraced it and did it. And because he was so encouraging and, um, and we were somewhat successful um, with our attempts, we were exposed to just glorious things. And then later I um, was a school teacher in high school, a small little rural high school in Northern California, and I taught English, but because it was a small high school, um, they had me teach drama. And because of my some of my experience in uh, musical theater and, and uh, stuff with the Madrigal Singers, I brought some of that material to my drama kids. And this is a very small class, sometimes as, as few as 10, these kids were generally not the, the sports stars, the cheerleaders, the academic uh, kids that are going to go on to college. They were, this was just sort of the hodgepodge group um, uh, as a class. And they blossomed. And I watched them perform on stage. And each individual student got such recognition for their efforts and such um, validation from their fellow students for maybe the first time ever. And after performances, the other students would greet my drama students in the hallway and just say, I saw you in that show and you were really great. I didn't know that you could do that. And, uh, and it was wonderful. It was there once was a man, she was one he slew the dragon for. 